looking at it from here, looks as though I'm about to lose my bridge. I'll go down and film that in a minute. Ooh, uh, look at that. Well, there's my little waterfall. It's the highest I've ever seen it. Looks as though the bridge is getting submerged. That was a waterfall up there. Nearly gone. And it has, in fact, broken its banks and turning back into a quagmire. Two sluice gates underneath are open as well because there's the sluice gates over there. Put them right out. So it's got quite a flow on it. Well, there's me veggie patches, all covered up for the winter. I'm waiting for me to do something useful. Let's go and have a look at this. Well, my little island has uh, disappeared. No point in going down there. And that fence I've put up down there is underwater. So they look a little bit further upstream. Well, my pleasant little stream. Got other ideas. No leaves yet. Here I am at the bottom field. Or oh, paddock. <laughs> there's the water. And all that green over there is wild garlic. wild garlic, you eat the leaves, with the other sort of garlic, you eat the bit underneath, or something. That's actually it came down before. Nice. Now I've got to walk all the way back up there, from another angle. Over there is a water flowing into the field. Ooh, calamity. I'm going over there to see if that uh, oak tree's got too many branches in the wind. Here I am over the other side. See, the water is making its way down and going into where the spring comes out. So that water is not pure as a driven snow anymore. That is looking decidedly muddy. Anyway, let's see how my old oak, the old dead oak is bearing. There's the old dead oak, and I was hoping that with all the winds we've had it's going to drop me off a branch or two, but it has not. Some branches have dropped, you can see by the uh, lumps of bark. This one get around here. Yeah. 
this is bark of a big branch. Somebody's had the branch. Somebody got there before me. Ah well. Next time, eh? I'm now over the other side of the road, the other side of the bridge. And there's the water coming through the bridge. What is quite interesting is the way they used to build bridges. Take a lot of care, not just slabs of concrete like they are now. Nobody ever sees those corbels up there, but they still put them in there anyway. Nice, sturdy stone bridge. 